hello welcome back to my channel okay now this right here is Sophia and she is the only licensed and the only daily nutritional intake of trolldom that you should actually partake in okay uh, she's very nice she's very calm she's my little troll and uh, that's the only kind of trolling I will accept here I would like for things to be uh, you know calm uh, cool collected so we can chat seems like a good idea so anyway uh, she's going to bid you adieu for a moment. She's going to sit down here. And, um, well, I was thinking about something really fun today. Uh, because when I was growing up, uh, I noticed something. It's a little thing. It's not a big world event. But I thought, what fun it could be to just talk about it. Uh, and the difference, uh, between, like, the kind of cartoons that you grew up with over there as opposed to maybe the kind of cartoons you grew up with over here because I've been introduced to a few that I'd never heard of you know and uh, it was kind of surprising uh, some of them are songs that get sung during birthday parties and uh, yeah they were um, interesting and um, well I decided I'm going to ask this of you guys so when you watched your cartoons, your animated shows, who did you root for generally? The good guys or the bad guys? Doesn't matter. It's not a moral judgment on you, I don't think. Uh, because if it is, well, I'm bad then because I almost always rooted for the bad guys. It was animated. It wasn't real. I knew it wasn't real. So whatever happened on the screen wasn't real. It wasn't possible. So there was no like, like a uh, consequence, you know? Uh, and so it was okay to just, you know, root for whoever. Uh, personally, I generally liked the bad guys because they had better style. Uh, or they liked cats, um, like Gargamel. You know with the smurfs big old cat awesome cat love that cat uh let's see um you also had with um he-man you know and the oh gosh i mean what was it panthor and then you had the the big lion i mean i wasn't rooting for he-man okay i was all about skeletor I, I loved the bad guys. They were just so cool, you know? Uh, whenever uh, Transformers would come on, I'm a Decepticon, okay? I would sit there and wait for it. Even though I knew they would lose, I still liked them better. I don't know. Just something about it. Being the bad guy. I guess I, I was, like, attracted to, like, playing it. I just thought it would be fun. Which, of course, led later down on the road to me writing. But, anyway, that's another another show. I went through and I started going through different cartoons. And uh, I was like, I know them, but I don't know that one. And I thought it'd be fun to, like, tell you some of my favorites. And then you can tell me some of yours. You know, why not? It could be a lot of fun. So, like, my favorite, honestly, out of all of them, is Pepe Le Pew. I love that little skunk so much. I don't know why. Um, it was just his little attitude. He just never gave up. And he was so, like, um, foppish, you know? He had the greatest look about him. And he just didn't care. He was like, I like her. I know that's like stalker behavior now, but when I was growing up, I just thought it was cute. Hmm. Perspective there, right? I know. Uh, but, you know, then of course you had uh, Tom and Jerry. I wanted to like Tom, but he was stupid most of the time. So I ended up liking Jerry because he got away with pretty much everything. And, you know, 
never got in trouble. Yeah, okay. And then, let's see, you had a Karate Kid. Okay, not really animated, but I always wanted to know this about, you know, my friends over on this side of the pond. Who'd you root for? Because I was always Cobra Kai. Like, always. I don't think I would have been as as mean, but there, oh, I don't know. I That was me. I, I would have ended up on their, ti- on their team. Just like I know I'm a Slytherin. Anyway, we're not going too far into that. So, let's see. Uh, gosh, it's another one. It's not animated. But it's fun, you know? Uh, Police Academy? Anyone? I love the guy that could do the voices. That was my favorite. Because uh, he just... You wouldn't think a human could make that noise. So he had like this superpower. So when I was watching the show, it was just fun watching him like flex that little superpower muscle. And of course, you know, that was the whole heart and like parcel of that character. He was great. Um, let's see. Uh, Care Bears, My Little Pony. Mm. Uh, for me, it was more like I liked the Grumpy Bear. I think. Even then, I wanted, like, less perky Care Bears, and I wanted a more, like, uh, gothy bear, and I didn't even know what goth was, <laughs> but when I was watching it, I was just like, they're so <sighs> cheerful and happy, and I'm like, I, I like Grumpy. I get him, you know, just like I used to get Eeyore. And, uh, you know, some people are Tiggers and some people are not. I'm not a Tigger. He's very excitable. (laughs) Give me coffee? I'll try. Uh, But I'm more like Eeyore, for sure. Eh, you know. We came up with some other ones. Let's see, there's some old ones you might remember. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Do you remember Wiley e. Coyote and the Roadrunner? Okay. I wanted to like Wiley e. Coyote. But again, dummy. Big dummy. He just kept being a dummy. Oh, it drove me nuts. So I ended up rooting for the Roadrunner. I liked the smart ones. Bugs Bunny. Smart freaking rabbit most of the time, Okay. I mean, he could get out of so many situations just by talking. It was great. Uh, I loved him. I admired him very much. And it was it was fun. Uh, oh, does anybody remember Marvin the Martian? He was he was cool. I don't think he ever really said much, but it was his character. And then of course, I'm rem- reminded of. Um, the other one that uh, Joan and Vasquez did, which uh, for some reason I cannot think of right now. But, ah, uh, uh, Invader Zim. You know, Marvin the Martian, Invader Zim. They're, you know, kind of, they're both aliens, obviously. They both weren't really digging Earth for what it was, but what it could be to their civilization. So it was kind of interesting. I don't know. There's a lot of uh, weird things in in cartoons, you'll notice, that teach you really cool lessons. I I always like that. Uh, Let's see. Um, I also did like... uh, Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Pinky and the brain. I mean, you know, the brain. I mean, what are we going to do today? I always, I, I love that. Uh, and then, of course, The Simpsons. Who doesn't love The Simpsons? Anyway, I want to hear your feedback on, you know, what your favorite, like, cartoon was growing up. Or, you know, maybe your favorite 90s or, like, late 80s, 80s kind of favorite movie. I know it's a bit of a mashup of of topics, but I love talking about these two things very much. Uh, and it, it's something that I thought we might be able to discuss a little further for fun. 
Uh, so tell me what you like. And uh, if there might be some that I've missed that you, you know, that you didn't hear me talk about, that maybe was more centered over here in England and not so much over in America, I would love to uh, be enlightened. So, you know, tell me the titles and the names and I'll go have a look. I'd love to learn more. Uh, again, like I say in every video, I'm constantly happy to learn and useful things. I should specify. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's been uh, it's been good. Uh, there is one thing that came that I thought was kind of funny. I got my box from Cohorted, and uh, they sent me um, tanning drops. I wish I knew someone I could give these to, because I never ever tan. Mm -mm. No, no, no. I stay glowy forever yeah so if I ever get any more tanning stuff and this whole COVID thing passes by uh, eventually I thought you know maybe I could pass it on to uh, some of the people that watch my channel you know uh, they could use these products I won't open them but again in time uh, I don't think it's a good idea right now uh, we're still dealing with COVID and, uh, um, guys, just wear a mask. Come on. You know, where they're wearing masks, the numbers are dropping. Where people are taking precautions, things are getting better. Come on. You know, it's not that bad, you know? Come on. I've got asthma. I don't mind wearing it. It's not the greatest thing in the world, but to get stuff done... To come back home and get things done in a timely manner without being bothered i wear a mask and i'm sure you can hear my asthma wheezing every now and then uh but just do the right thing for everybody hopefully we can get through this stuff and then you know maybe you will see me doing some filming outside maybe i can go meet some people It'd be fun i would like to do that but, you know, just ideas that I have. Um, and again, if you have any questions, put them below. Uh, please don't forget to uh, subscribe and, um, you know, put all the little notices on. Uh, because I'm, I'm trying to put out uh, things that I happen to love and see if I can't connect with people that love it too. Because it'd be fun. And uh, maybe I can learn from someone else. Uh, and again, these these magnificent earrings. My gosh. Uh, Sin Decora. Yeah, on Etsy. Etsy is the greatest place to get any kind of like jewelry. If you want something unique that you can't find in, you know, the stores that are available, then go there. And then you can find all kinds of cool stuff. Yeah. And, uh... Uh-huh. Oh. I'm being shown a plushie. That's very cute. Oh, it's this it's the thing. Yeah, it's a little dessert plushie that we had. And um I decided to paint it raspberry colored. And um yeah. Looks like a little Neapolitan ice cream sandwich, I think. But yeah, I reinforced all the seams on it. Uh so longevity. And you know, because I was newly diabetic at the time and my birthday came around well uh, my partner decided she was going to get me a plushy slice of cake I wanted to keep it because it was really cool and so I reinforced all the seams and I have a little plushy piece of cake uh, hanging off the side of my purse I love it <laughs> so yeah um, Anyway, here's wishing you guys a really great morning. Um, I'm very thankful for every single subscriber that I have. Thank you so much. I'm hoping that I grow. I really want to get bigger uh, channel. Mm. And um, hopefully I can make some friends in the process. It'd be really cool. Anyway, I love it here in England. Thank you for having me here. I'm glad to be a citizen. It's excellent. Thank you so much.